so the little lights on so we know. So this is a recording, um, we're an interview with um, the Arthur Nears on the Thursday the 27th of January 2011. So um, Arthur's going to talk about his early years. So uh, how old were you, Arthur, when you came to guesting for? I was, I can't remember, but I weren't about one, I reckon, if that. So you were very young. Yeah. Mm. My father, as I said, he was him and his father were in business in Henny. Right. Wheelwrights and carpenters and that sort of thing. And of course, in, at that time, in the 30s, farming was absolutely terrible. No, you know, nobody wanted the land or could, they couldn't make any money or anything else. Amazing. Isn't and it? he saw this job advertised, this old lady oats up the hall. Uh, for an estate carpenter and a wheelwright, because all farms were wagons and tumbrils and horses and things, you know. So uh, he applied and got it, and that's how we came to Right. Yeah. And, uh, didn't we, we lived, I say, in that little cottage. Which one was that? Where Damien lived almost opposite Pump Yard, don't they? Right, There's I know. Two, not prize, two, yeah. two, mm. two little. Uh, there's Damien, then little further along is Mark. Mm -hmm. What when I was young, that was a uh, a bullet yard there, and barns all the way alongside the road, wasn't it, Chris? Yeah, you remember yeah. them, don't you? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, and those bullet yards the other side, you know. Were they all owned by the Oaks family? Oh, yeah. the where? Was it all part of the hall? Crumpling the barns and everything. Yeah. Oh yes, it was in those days. But Prize used to hire it, you see, the whole farm. They used to farm this little one over here, Pound Farm, right. and. Uh, Prize came there. I don't know what time they came there, but they've been there a lot of years. Well, they've bought it now, but uh, Miss Mrs. Oates used to farm it. Two or three old boys used to work up the hall, you know. And, but they never, they never. That was like every other farm. That was just nothing arable, you know. That was just. Uh, Oh, various feed stuffs for cattle, you know, and whacking great holly hedges and things. That they never ploughed the field up and, and grew corn or anything like that. There's no Did money. Did they have sheep? Or... Pardon? Did they have sheep there and, and, no, and cows? No, they had cattle. No? Yeah. One cow? <laughs> no, they had two or three over here. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Cows, yeah. Pigs. Mm -hmm. Pigs. Little mother, Chris. And, uh, she had a I, cow over there. Yeah, I can't she? remember her having cows or pigs. Uh, cook. Not I, the cow. I remember my father telling me once. I was when did you heard this? Yes. He used to be. <laughs> he was the big barber. 12. My father 12. was. Nineteen twelve. Because they couldn't bike at Sudbury. There wasn't nobody go bike hardy, you know. Mm -hmm. They used to cut all the hairs, all the blokes, all short back and sides, you know. <laughs> and he was up the hall. He said, cutting. Old Bill Nice, no Peter Nice. Yes, yes. His great uncle. Right. Who lived there. And uh, he looked very much like it, back to his face. But he was cutting this old boy's hair. And somebody said, Look out, there comes the old woman, you know, that meaning Miss Oates. And of course, he pulled his things away. Oh, this was in work time. Yes, yes. Right. And. Uh, <laughs> And he said the old boy went about with half a haircut for nearly a week before he could finish it. <laughs> <laughs> he cut all one side and not the other. <laughs> Started a new yeah. fashion. <laughs> but but uh, she's a funny old kind of girl, Miss Oates was. Was she? Mm. Yeah, and... Uh, she was difficult, wasn't she? <sighs> yes, mm. to say the least. The notes I've had come to that school about me. The least thing, if you met her in the village, in the street, and you didn't say good morning, Mum, and touch your hat, there'd be a note come really? to school about it. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. You see, they was the, like they they was the, the boss of the village, you see. Yes. Uh, yeah. And Reverend Greening, his name was, just lived down beside the 
What was their name, Joy Lynn there now? The rectory? Douglas Hughes. Douglas Hughes, where they lived, that mm. was the rectory then. Right, yeah. Because Gastonthorpe was just one parish. There weren't five, mm. you know, like mm. uh, the Rebel Donaldson had. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> Did you, um, was you the first of the family what come here then, or was Grand Nears here then? No, that we was the first, Chris. Yeah, we lived in there, and then, uh, Grandfather died, and they came over. Let, who died last year, she was, I think she was 14, went over and they came. So I was about, she was 10 years older than me. Oh, so you were a wee lad, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. Mm. And then from there, then the, I don't know what happened to the, on the farm at the Oaks, <coughs> what happened there, but, uh, my father had to leave. Not for anything he'd done or anything like that. Something that went on, where, where that was when Pryor's bought it or okay. whatever, I don't know. But um, Miss, Miss Oates' brother, Briar, he had the, the, well, I don't know, you don't know where the fruit farm was down north. I know, yeah. There, mm -hmm. where Ernie Earl was built that massive house perched on the hill. Yes, I know. <laughs> well, there was a bungalow there, and we went and lived in that. Is that finished? A couple of years. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and then we came back down, they just built six council houses down the road, and we moved into one of them. So what was your dad working at then? When you finished he, with, with he worked for a Mr. Marsh at Wickham St. Paul's, oh, doing right. a similar sort of thing. I, mean, we, right, yeah. I went there for a little oh, while when I first left school, building round that round the green, you know, Wickham Green, because Mr. Marsh owned most of Wickham. How it used to go on there, I mean, Miss Oates did here, she owned half Gaston and thought, you know, all these places all round here, they don't mm. block her. And, uh, that's and they had, had then, wasn't it? he was a contractor as well, so the father was there a lot of years. Mm. How long was you down the road there then? Or? Not terrible, only about I don't know, 18 months, two years, mm -hmm. years, yeah. But your father worked down there, did he worked on that? Because there was a bit of a farm there as well. Was that a fruit farm then? Or a fruit farm. That was already a fruit farm then? Fruit farm, no, he worked for Mars then. He worked for Mars then. Because, and if mm. he was. They had thrashing tackles, contractors, you know, and he was driving one of them one day, and they was down Mary, Mary Hall, yeah. you know, St Mary's Hall, don't they? <coughs> and he was going back, to obviously come home to dinner, just mm -hmm. down the road, he was going back, and he went round the Cook Bend, and there was two ladies with bicycles, and they tucked the whole road, was. In the middle of the road, one bike was that way and one this way, and he went on the side of the road to get past them and went into a water thing up in the air and come down, smashed his shoulder. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it was on a motorbike, wasn't it? Yeah, on a motorbike. Mm. 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 Yep. <coughs> okay. So, what's this? Your, your father was riding this motorbike? Yeah. Yeah, the two ladies, whoever, I don't know who they were. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Wish I went to the about the then, you know. Mm -hmm. Did you have to go to hospital? Oh, yeah. And where, where, where was the hospital in those days? Colchester? Uh, it's gone to Sudbury already. Sudbury, I suppose. Was yeah, there a Sudbury? Well, it's probably at Sudbury, yeah. There's, oh, there's, yeah. there's still one there, isn't there? Is there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, near, what is it called? Yeah, St Leonard's. But it's St Leonard's, yeah. Coast, it wasn't there, so you could... You I don't. Right. Yes, yeah, so there was only one at Colts in those days. It's mm -hmm. Alexander Road one. Yeah, but you didn't go there. You probably went local. Uh, yeah, local one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I made a mess. I was home a long while with that. So you so, couldn't work then, could he? No. no. And you didn't get no doll money in them days, did you? No. Gosh, how did people survive? Not so did your mum work, work at all? No. no. Women didn't in those days. So you had know. no money coming in. Don't know. I weren't interested to see no, that. You only little, little some lovely one. strawberry beds and all that sort of thing. But <laughs> that's all. It was lovely. Oh, because you were living up there. <clears> was I was only five when we left there, so you know I weren't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
So did you start school at five? Yeah. So you moved Come back here and went to ball. school up here. Yeah. So you started, did you, you was down there when you started yeah. school? So yeah. Did you have to walk all the way up here? I forget what we used to do in there, Chris. The two boy Bevans. Cardium as well. Malcolm and Vernon. They was about the same age. They all used to come up here at school. And then Francis later on. I don't know who he was, I suppose. We must have well, done Well, Tony said when he, because he lived down there, yeah. didn't he? He said he walked all the way from there. Yeah, well, they probably all. School. It's a long way to walk when you're five years old. Oh, yeah. Jack's little, little legs, yeah. <laughs> Jack, wasn't it? Was yeah, they both, age? yeah. Remember going down that hill, where my father had a motorbike, down Hickson Hill, the big hill there, I got nearly down the bottom, and the road was full of horses, and we went right for them. Oh, yeah. My mother was on the back, and I was in between them. I sat in between <laughs> the mother and the... Yeah, yeah. Well, I went very old, Julia. I was only yeah. about five, yeah, four or five years. You see people on a motorboat like that today, don't you? Mm. Oh. Yeah. Because your mother went on a motorboat, didn't she? <coughs> well, she was single. Because I've got a picture of her at home. I see you with a... Yeah, with old, one of them old Ow. leather hat, <laughs> things on. Oh, I'll give that to you, really. Yeah. 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 We did have one of that. There's lots of photographs. That might be the same photograph. Um, That's one of possibly. Dorothy and Robin got them, haven't they? Quite a few. And yeah. Stan brought them back. I will bring you that album around. You've probably seen it before, but it's one my grand's give me, and that's all pictures of Henny and that. Or, you oh, know, yeah. your, your father's there with a pair of football boots on. Oh, yeah. And um, but there's lots of people in there because I don't know who they are, really. I mean, no. I ought to get somebody to write on who they yeah. are, and that. That's that the trouble, the thing, isn't it? Nobody ever do that, yeah. do they? No. Never put names. People die off, and that, and that yeah. information goes with them, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's the trouble. I mean, Les, is, Les Smith, if you didn't know, or you yeah, didn't know did, him. Didn't, yeah, I, did, I didn't know him, but yeah. I know of him, yeah. Len, Len, he was a, Lettis, that's it. He was quite high with information, he was. He'd been in the building all his life, you know. Mm. <clears throat> but he died and... Mm. Well, you've been in the village most of your life, haven't you? I well, have been very As long as fast. you can remember, yeah. really, yeah. 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 So, did, did kids start at school at five, like they do now? Yeah, I think it was five or four and a yeah. half, I forget yeah. exactly. And was that just sort of your younger years, or did you go right through till you were left school at that school? I left school, yeah. Well, were you the same school? Hedigan opened, I think, about a year after I oh, yeah. left. Okay. Yeah. Senior yeah. school, yeah. But it was divided up, wasn't it? The the, the schoolroom into the older children and the younger That's children. Right. Yeah, there was a petition up. Mm -hmm. Used to have one of us had to get up when we was in the infant's part because the clock was up there and the, this petition got a window in it. You had to go and tell the teacher back what the time was. <laughs> Peep through she the used window. to sit there beside the beside the fire, the bigger. Uh, <coughs> Give me um, tortoise stoves, you know, there's one in each room actually. Big old things. I used to throw it some heat. She wanted to know what it was. That's time to go home. <laughs> <laughs> teacher Beth. <laughs> Who girl. was your teacher? Do you remember? Who was your teacher? Do you remember? Her and then a Miss Keywood. In the, when you got up into the senior part of it, you know. <laughs> Yeah, that was during the war I was in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you remember about the war time? Not a lot. anything? anything? No. Uh, not a lot. I remember once, you said a few bombs fell around here. Yeah. And uh, there'd been a hell of a blast one night. We were all up here looking around where... And Jimmy Wilson there, he used to be the... He used to live where Ashley Cooper does, right. Hill Farm. Yeah. But they didn't farm it, they, not much. They was, he was a village milkman. Used to, you know, uh, used to have the cattle and, uh, and uh, bring the milk round to school and what have you. And he came down, wanted to know where it was. Nobody could find out. And when, the next day when he got up, and it only blown his barn down, you know, the back of his house. Oh. Yeah, Dutch so barn. close to him. Mm. Yeah. Well, we had quite a few bombs like that and aeroplanes come down, you know. You had planes come down around here? 
Yeah, one or two. One over at, towards Wickham in the fields. We used to sit on the corner, crossroads here. Yeah. Or well, here? Yeah. Mm. All the blokes of my age, sort of Les Rippengarl and Sid Reynolds, Frank Knight. And we used to sit and wait for the doodlebugs. And if I cock out over a top, you knew we was, uh, that weren't going to be far away. And we used to, off we'd go on a bus to have a look at it. <laughs> and the nearest one we ever got to was um, between the rectory and the church at Lily Oldham. And that fell right in the middle be between the two. Never heard either of them. Yeah, oh, a horrible noise they used to make. So, I don't suppose you had air raid shelters or anything here, did you? Oh, yeah, Not I in, did. You did? I, felt, oh, I think so. Do you remember going or, into one? A ditch or something like that. We never ditch. had one ourselves. Oh. When you look back, it's <laughs> ridiculous, really. <laughs> you'd hear an aeroplane, oh, you'd finally hear it, you know, and your father say, come on, let's get in the ditch. It was only a little ditch out <laughs> beside the road, you know, what good the hell that would have done, I don't know, but... Oh. No protection whatsoever. No. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so come on, come on. And that was miles away, and now we're near here. Do you remember anything about the old dummy airfield, what they had up there? Yeah, they used to go. Well, the best thing about it was the Yanks were there. Uh -huh. And we used to go up there and have cream and fruit, fresh fruit, tins of fruit and cream, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it was lovely. But they used to come in by the lantern there, didn't That's they? That's right. <coughs> That's where it was, sort of over the back of the lantern yeah. towards the Lay's Wood, you yeah. know. Do you know why that house is called the lantern? No. Funny, no. I've never known why. No, no. No. I've heard anybody know why that's called that. No. No. no For some no. reason, mustn't it? Yeah. Yes, and some of these names somebody are many, many years old, something. aren't they? Yeah, that could be altered from something else, couldn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Did they, they had a searchlight up there as well, though, Arthur, didn't they? Yeah, some like that. Well, maybe that's, that's why it's called the well, they, No, this was during the war, I think. It was already called the Lantern by then. Yeah, yeah it was during the war. Mm. There's all the old, old concrete still lay about there, don't they? Up on the... Well, you see, the dummy aerodrome was there, and Ridgewood was over there. What was over there? The proper aerodrome, the regional aerodrome, mm -hmm. where they just fly and gliders now, you know. They was, what they call them, B-42s, were they something? Oh, I don't know what they and grade bombers they were, they go hardly over the top of the house. B-52s, I think. Something like that, yeah. Massive things. But they they all fly from there, do they? They yeah. flew from Richwell, yeah. Oh, they did, yeah. right. Well, they yeah. always used to go during the day. But the Yanks never flew at night. The English blokes did, but the Yanks used to fly during the day. And they used to come over here, blooming great things, you know. Right, yeah. You see it, you see when it's daylight. Mm. Mm. I didn't realise that it was run by the Yanks. I thought that was run by our blokes. I didn't realise that was... No, oh, that was American. <coughs> yeah, uh, Chris. Mm -hmm. What about Weathersfield, then? Well, that's yeah. a lot further over, isn't it? Yeah, but that was American. There, one at Weathersfield. Yeah, they, they, they never called it American. That no, was it was always RAF Weathersfield. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. So yeah. that was English at the start. A lot of Yanks there, though. Mm. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was Yanks. Yeah. <clears throat> right, how far have we got? <laughs> to the war. We were at the war still. But you ain't told us about this scrumping bit that you told us about earlier. I was just going to ask you about that, yeah. What? Scrumping. The walnuts. Oh, the walnuts. Willie Down. Where was that? Yeah. Ashley Cottage. Ashley Cottage? Ashley Cottage, yeah. Yeah. Well, there was one especially. There was one walnut tree that was quite close to the house, near the road. We didn't used to bother about that. That was too dangerous, <laughs> what we saw. <thought. laughs> this one was further down, more behind where the cricket pavilion is, you know, right, yeah, in that yeah, area. Bottom. Mm. great tree that was. And we used to creep up there from this end up all, all the way round, you know. As I said, it was terrible. You feel around for them in the dark and you've got the stinging animals mm -hmm. and, God. 
the thing was, the poor old boy couldn't hardly walk. I know, but whatever we thought he was going to do, I just don't know. <laughs> no, poor old. What else did you get up to? And his brother Percy used to be up this road. He had a little uh, ironmongery sh shop for the farmers, you see. Supply all the stuff that the farmers Was wanted. Percy who? Percy? Downs. 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 Oh, oh, yeah. Downs. Downs. Yeah, that, the that bikes, a, didn't over you? there was a. Yeah. Um, oh, what do they call them? The foundry. The foundry, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. That was another Downs. King Downs, yeah, King that Downs, was. Downs, yes. These others were his sons, were they all? I don't know. Oh, I person? don't know oh, what person? relations they were. There's a lot of Downs in Gassingthorpe. And I mean, Percy used to have this little general stores of iron hungry eyes and rips and you know and they used to keep it for the farmers you see and we used to go up there and work for him yeah we tuppence an hour about something like that and we used to go in his house if you could call the house like a bungalow place be having his breakfast and like a cup of tea boy and if you said yes, he <laughs> he had a, a pudding basin he used to drink out of. If you said yes, he'd stand it down, fill it up and give it to you. <laughs> what he'd been drinking out of. <laughs> no, you only got had once, you know. <laughs> Poor old Percy. <laughs> what sort of work did you do for him, now? Well, he, used to, he was so methodical, Chris. Everything was labelled up in boxes with the name of it on, yeah. how, the length of it, or the nails, you know, three inches, four inches, five, whatever. Everything was like that. And you had to keep them filled up, you know, and all those sort of little jobs, you know. Yeah. 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 And how, do you remember how he got his stuff there? Did he have to go to the no, railway station to get it? No, I He don't. wouldn't have it delivered. He used to. He? He used to <laughs> he used to take it out on his bike, bits and pieces. Yeah. But how he got them, I don't know. It must have been somebody car delivering. He had a lot of stuff in there, you know, mm. that sort of thing. I mean, yeah. rips and. Um, there wouldn't have been many people in the village had a car in them days. Good they? God, no. So it was all like local trade, really, was it? Yeah. Just in Both the of the, all the farms, you see. Yeah. 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 Who can you remember in the village in them days who'd had a car? Well, I think some of the farmers did, not all of them. Some of them had no, nothing much because the uh, farming was so bad, Chris, that yeah. was a trouble. I went yeah. for a long time, my father was the only one in Gettysburg that had a car, apart from the farmers. And he, he used to have one, as I said, he worked at Wickham. He used to have one, what his boss, if he had a change, that my father would have his old one, you know? Right, And they see the, we had an, uh, I say, well, what, what, I learned to drive in on uh, Morris Cowley. 1928 Morris Cowley, driving along, and changed gear, and the gear stick used to come out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All sorts of things like Wind, that. Did you have things like windscreen wipers? <laughs> yeah, and. Uh, Flying off. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, is well, Mrs. Is, Oates never had a car then, did she? No. Did, did no, you well, that's coming along towards Harry Rippengarn, you see. She used to hire him because he, he, he did have a a big Ford, a beautifully comfortable car, all leather seats, and she used to hire him, you see. She wanted to go anywhere. And. Of course, he always, even when he's on the buses, he always had a little brown bent pipe, like that. It's come down here like this. I always had that on when he was driving. Yeah, and uh, she told him to put it out <laughs> when he got her out one day. And uh, he didn't like that. That's when the old warmint got me to it. <laughs> what did he say? You've got to tell her. Oh, old warmint, I'll never take her out in the morning. He never did, as far as I know. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Good for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not many people will like that now. So did he go, he used to go to the pub a lot, didn't he? He liked yes, going out yeah, to the Red Lion, liked, was it then? Flying dominoes and cards and things mm. like that, you know. Mm. I always had that bent pipe on. I always a bent, never had a straight one. I always had one that come down like that. Mm. Yeah, and the, uh, well, I, I, I may have told you this one before, when I was playing cricket, they went to Beowulf to play Beowulf at cricket one mm -hmm. evening, I think. And uh, that's the way they were in those days. They all used to take a crate of beer with them, apparently. Lenny Martin was telling me this before he died. And they was coming up Barrington Hill home, and somebody said, Wonder if Harry'd like a bottle of beer, you know, to drink. So somebody got out in the back of the bus and went and ran up the side of the front and gave them a bottle and then <laughs> got back in and they was, they was sailing along if they could do that, wasn't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the idea. oh, brilliant. That was one of Lenny's styles. Whether that was ever true or not, I don't know. How many buses did he have? Well, at that time, Joy, he had, he had the one. And I never knew nothing about that. Well, I was too young. That was a coal cart there in the week, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Supply everybody in the village. And then he used to sweep, sweep the coal out, I suppose, and put a top on, and that was a bus, service bus for the weekend. <laughs> Saturdays, no one had Sundays. Did you ever go on the bus? No, not on, not on that particular bus. Right. But then he graduated to a... Uh, that was an old, I think that was a Rio, the name of the bus. What he used to drive. God, he used to cram people in there. And he only ch ever charged one and fruitens from here. Never, never known it to be different. To, to where? Was that Sudbury? To Sudbury, yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people had to get out in Baden and he down go into Sudbury like it. There's so many people on there. <laughs> but then he, he got Another one, Stan Baxter, you remember Stan Baxter? No. no. Yeah. Well, he kept bells and bells at the same time yeah, for a little mean. while. He had a new bus. That was a, a pretty basic sort of bus, but that was new. Mm. And, uh, and then along came Bert, can't think of his other name, he went to Australia. Another smaller, more luxurious bus, you know, about 30 feet, I think it was. But did Bluffy buy, uh, did he drive all the buses or did these other guys drive them? No, he had two other drivers. He only, I only ever saw him driving the old Rio. Right. The old, oldest mm. one he got. Mm. I never seen him drive one of the new ones. And, 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 and did and they, they go to, uh, and they went to Sudbury, did they go like to Halstead or? Oh yeah, Maple yeah, and that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then All he around. had a, he had an old uh, one of the buses. There used to be a, uh, an old boy, Strawberry. What the hell was his proper name? What was his nickname, Strawberry? He lived where that uh, was that wedding woman. What's her name? Steph Stephanie. Stephanie, where she lives, that's where he lives, a house in on the yeah. road, isn't it? That's where he used to live, and he used to take the girls to a house to factory, court halls. Yeah, he'd take right. every morning and kind of in the uh, uh, evening, you know. So he wasn't delivering coal then? He wasn't what? Delivering coal, because wasn't he delivering coal with his coal? No, that was that was after that episode. That was a little later on. Mm. I don't remember anything about the coal cart. At least new, you see, but he's gone. He's just yeah, yeah. He remembered it, but I never did. Mm. Well, I may have seen it, but you when you're that age, you don't take a lot of notice, do you? No, well, Kenny Day said he took over the coal business from him in yeah. 1960. He said. Mm. Oh he yeah, no, he right. The one at Kenny Day's. Like in-laws at start got the coal? Yeah, it? that was something to do. I think so. I think that's what the old lady told yeah, us. That was, mm. Yeah, because they were hoarders, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. 
originally. That's how he okay. sort of got into that, I mm. think. <coughs> so you, and some, uh, you used to go down the old brickyard at times when you was young as well, though, didn't you? Oh, yeah. I used to go down there. What'd you get up to there? Playing pitch penny. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. There's all sandy floors and that in there where they used to dry the bricks out. Yeah. Lovely, just right. right. Playing pitch penny, we used to be there, but half a dozen hours or more. Sunday afternoons. Well, there's nothing else to do, you see. I was going to say, what, what was life like in the village? Nothing else to do. Saturday, mm -hmm. Sunday afternoons in the winter, we'd be up here, up the back here, playing football. We had a goal post up. Playing football, several of us up there, and then you go down to the clamp. <laughs> what about, about Potkiln? Did you go down there? You know where Potkiln Chase is now, isn't it? Yes, but I never knew that that uh, yeah. one to be going. That's the White House mm. pit. I don't know where they used to fire them there. I'm sure them, they all. I've never known any buildings to be down there. Not uh, no, he must have pulled that down. Yeah, right, so I've yeah. never known any buildings there, but they was they used to make floor bricks and things like that. Hard as mm. rock, they were terrible. What about the old boy that used to live in the wood down there? What caravan ball? Mm. Oh, my caravan ball, yeah, yeah. that's a later yeah. date, I know. Yeah. But well, I don't know when he first went down there, caravan ball, do you? Well, no, that was a long time after that was closed. Kenny but Day told me that he start he first had a caravan in Free Corner Wood. Did he? That's what Kenny Day told me. I don't know where that's I wouldn't be surprised. He said that he, because old Bert used to own, own a lot of these places about here then, didn't he? And he... Bert who? Burke. Oh, Burke. Peter. Peter Burke owned a lot of these places. I don't know whether he owned Free Corner Wood. Did but he? Oh. he? Kenny Day told me that um, they, they were kicking Caravan Bob out of Free Corner Wood, or somebody was, wanted him to go. And he saw Peter Burke somewhere, and Peter Burke said, "Oh, I've got somewhere you can go. You can have that bit down there." Oh, because Peter Burke used to own, he owned a clamp as well. Burke's owned that at one time. <laughs> really? Tony told me that uh -huh. when that was a brickyard, that Burke's owned it. Uh -huh. They owned the land. Oh, no. Rainer was. The but Rainer owned it. You know, rendered it off yeah, them yeah. to do the brickyard. And just Tony told me, he said, when they sold it off. Gardner and Pryor, they had one bit each, but they sort of swapped it because they were on the wrong side of the track, oh, yeah. he reckoned. That's what Tony told me. Oh. He didn't know because he farmed it, didn't yeah. he? That, yeah, they were a lot. Oh, them Burks, they owned a lot of the clay pits about yeah. here. Because they kept them, didn't they, you see? They they knew oh. there was money in it. Well, I was, I was told that during the 30s, early 30s, the Knott family, I mean, they owned still do from Gessendorf mm. almost through the Penmarsh mm. all the land they, they reckon they bought that then yeah about two pounds fifty oh, later yeah. because nobody wanted it mm. farming was just no good no money in it you see they couldn't mm. afford it but now who would want to say Worse, you know. Did you know that old Bob down there? Did you used to go down Caravan there? Bob, yeah, I couldn't remember. I didn't, I was remembering. Didn't he? All lovely grass. And I yeah. went down there, you know, through there once or twice, but he had all grass. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can remember him. I remember him. He used to push bike up here to the to the um, scarpers. I remember him push bike up there. Yeah. Grab the scarpers. Oh, yeah, I can remember him. Happy old boy. Yeah, I didn't know much about him, but. Well. I didn't know if you went down there, you know. No. Well, he reckoned he's a, that, he told us once when he's up the wood, he said, I've got property all over this wood. <laughs> Bloody bits of tractors and God knows <laughs> what they <laughs> lied about there. Oh, my, all my property. Yeah, yeah a lot of rubbish about there, didn't he? In that pit <laughs> behind, there was a pit behind, that was full of rubbish, weren't it? Yeah. Was it? Yeah, old bits of cars and all sorts of stuff. That's right? all where they used to get the white earth from. Yeah, that's where they dug out. Yeah, some big old pits down there. Yeah. There's some quite big holes in that wood. That's all. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Not, as big, not as deep as the other one, but there's, some, yeah. there's quite a few holes in it. Mm. Well, I think some of it was in the field the other side, and they filled it in, because there was a big pit in there, I think Ashley filled it in. Oh. Or, the, or Harold did anyway. Yeah. Oh. They done all right either. They bought it all, didn't they? Yeah. Sold the house and kept the land. Sold the house for more than what they gave us all the, the 
whole lot, I reckon. I don't know. But that's the wire things. Only about 10 acres, I think, anyway, was it? Of that little old farm. Which one's that? The homestead. Oh, uh, what? Which one are you on about? Down the bottom homestead. Was on the there? homestead? Yeah, yeah. what's the... Yeah, ain't much there, is there? Uh, about yeah. 10 acres, I think. There was. But ain't nothing there now, so it's just No, it was all in with. They had that field, they had that field behind there, did they? Bit where it goes out to the wood. That belonged to the homestead. It goes there, towards it? Weaver, oh, yeah, that yeah. side of the river. Oh, I didn't know that belonged to the homestead. Yeah? Yeah. Ashley bought that off of them, or Harold did, did he? They bought the home. Because that, that was the Finches, weren't it? That belonged to the Finches. So yeah, and then they, they sold the house, you see? Yeah, oh, I didn't realise they had that. Yeah. Kept the land. Mm. Yes, there's a. Uh, they were finches there. Yeah, Dickums used to live there. Yeah, Dickums did, yeah. Jim? Jim, Dickums, and. Well, the old man, I suppose. He yeah. Did, yeah. That's where they kept the horse with the. that turned the uh, mill up the clamp. And, oh, was it? Yeah, so. I didn't know that. I remember uh, saying. It turned, well, um, Valerie Raymond told me that because she used to. Well, she was a Barney Finch. He was there as well, weren't he? He'd have lived yeah. there as well, wouldn't you see? Mm. And I was thinking of the little man what used to live going right. there, who I spoke about before. Was that Barney? He was a little man. He no. was, yeah, Barney's Barney. father. Oh. Jim and, and <coughs> Dickham's his father. Yeah, but who was the little, what was the Gladdy Finch, weren't they? Yeah. on the buses. No, it weren't him. That's the Rover, 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 Rover Finch. Rover Finch. Rover Finch. Yeah. And he used to live opposite. No, he lived with them, though. Oh, he lived he with lived them. With yeah. Because that was uh, Gladdy Finch's um, husband's brother, wasn't it, Arthur? I believe so. Yeah, but I didn't him, that's didn't what she told live, me. Uh, didn't they live beside the pub? Because they used to be a, where the car park is. They was all colleges there, weren't yeah. they? No, I think they uh, always lived opposite me. Gladdy Finch and, uh, lived in that bit what come towards the road. Yeah, where I live. Oh, yeah. Now, one thing, I, mean, I was thinking of... Uh, the little fella. Rover. No, Chris said he lived Rover, with Rover, that's mm. the one. Yeah, but Chris said he lived with them. He lived with them. He did. Yeah. At the finish, where well, he finished up. Oh, he but I was thinking yeah. prior. Yeah, yeah, he might have done yeah. it. Yeah. Finish up there. Yeah. Yeah, until his wife died and then he moved in with. Oh. With Gladdy, yeah, that was her, yeah. that was his brother. Yeah, her, her husband was Albert, weren't it? Mm. Albie, I think, weren't he? Yeah. But they were funny. Well, Godfrey, the son. Godfrey, the son. Jeffrey, whatever Jeffrey. Yeah. But they're a funny old family, weren't they? Yeah. A lot of things they didn't get with each other. Home, home, home. Home. Yeah. But there was three little cottages. Oh, I don't think they got on with each other hardly any of them, did they? I don't know. No, because, well, well, Valerie's mother was Gladys' sister-in-law, but they didn't speak to each other, did they? Oh, did they? They only lived two doors away from each other, but they wouldn't <laughs> speak to each other. <laughs> I, never, I never remember them speaking to each other, ever. They didn't like each other at all. Didn't they? I reckon Gladys could be a funny old woman, no? Yeah. She used to be the conductor. She was the conductor, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she was called Harry Rippengall's conductors. Yeah. <laughs> dear, dear. What did he sell up there? Was that petrol, that, pe that yeah. pump there? Yeah. Little so Harry, yeah. Harry. Yeah. Could anybody yeah. get that, or was it yeah. just for yourself? Yeah. Half a gallon. But what happened one to the... One time, one in the back. What happened and to the... Where it was? Did they fill it in, or...? Half a gallon. Yeah. yeah. Under the half a gallon, and it was yeah. yeah. as far as it went. It was under and you had to go yours. back again and let it fill up Can again. Can you remember how much that was, then? No, I don't. Not a lot. No, I bet it wasn't. Not a lot. Yeah. But he's, I should never forget. What happened to the pump and that? Did I it went up to see how he ripped and go. Yeah, I don't know. Well, Dick Hall went to him. Bluffy, we used to, that yeah. was his nickname. Bluffy Dick Hall, was the Dick Hall told, told us he um, knew where it was, that pump. His wife came out. He didn't tell us where, but he said he said he's round the back half. Oh, and he's gone, have he? No. Round the back of where he used to park his lot of uh, buses, you know. Where did he live? Oh, Dick Hall. He lived in that round there. Is he the one that had the lorries now? Yeah. And then he sat in his little. He got a little mess up round there with a fireplace in, and he sat in there. Can where he is? Lovely. No, you wouldn't know where it was. When we come out, I was looking at these. 
got a new sort of fence mm. all the way around. I had the bit that come off the top. It's all shows, bits of the glass. Flash, you know, the bit with the writing on. I can't see, don't top. take too much notice. I, had that when I, was I can't cut glass off. They ain't got it now. So oh, I made the, the frames to fit the bits of glass. I can't. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> You hear that? I wouldn't hear well, listen, I'm talking to Yeah, he, I'd see him. Tell him, show it to our press. And Harry, yeah. Oh, bless you. So we come round, and round from the back of where he, he had a little nest up round the back there, with a fireplace in, he got a, a fence that had been replaced, and that's all bits of glass, and all shapes bits, all sizes and shapes. He said, I don't take too much notice of that. He said, I can't cut glass, so I make the frame to fit the glass. <laughs> what piece of glass I got, he make a piece of frame to fit it. <laughs> oh, well, that's pretty good, that. <laughs> so did you go up there and sit and chat and that? Yeah. Chew the flat. He made a good job of them, really. He, he, he'd fitted the frames up OK, but... <laughs> so I don't know, it was much easier to learn how to cut a bit of glass and do that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Do you want another biscuit or no, anything? Thank you. No, I'm fine, thank you. So, what, what did you, you you helped out at the farm? But what did you do after that, Mick, for work? For work, well, the first six months I was at work, I worked at Whitlock's. Danny the old one. Um, what What did they do? Uh, it was agricultural engineers. Right. Okay. And uh, mm -hmm. used to bike out six days a week. For 17 and 6 months, how about that? Uh, huh? And how many but hours a day did you do? I can't remember now, I've been eight or nine. Probably been about eight or yeah. six or something. Wouldn't have been any less, I wouldn't have thought. Did you take a sandwich with you? Or? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I haven't got a canteen. Mm -hmm. No. And, you and uh, then I went with my father on the building for a little while. I mean, Mr. Marsh, he was a great man, he was, but not a well man, he's 50 some, and he died, and of course, they put the place up for mm -hmm. sale, I was made redundant. And your dad too. And I had uh, a year messing around, I built two or three um, greenhouses for a chap in Borley. Jack Gardner right. and that sort of thing and some old, old farmer boys, one at Twinston I remember, Jim Stedden, old bloody house was falling down and he asked me if I'd go and plaster it up to keep it together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh. It was bad to die, wasn't it? And then uh, I got tons of work when it happened. I was in Pebmarsh and I'd got seven or eight chicken places to build. You know, that's quite big places. And that was just before Christmas now. It was just like it was today. That wind was whistling up there. And the eyes were running and there was lime bricks, you know, bridge blocks. And I said to them, I said, I'm finishing on Friday. I said, I've had enough of this. I'm going to get the job in the war. So I went off down to Sudbury. I mean, there weren't many places, you know, what I knew of. And I went to Lucas, or CAV as it was then. And, uh, blow me, the bloke I see, met up with, was the foreman there. He was a chap I played cricket with at Sudbury, Peter Clayton. And, uh, he said, I'm, I'm afraid you'll have to work nights nice for a while anyways. We have got nothing else, you know. And I went in, I said, well, I'll try to have a go, try and not work. I'd never done anything like that before, you know. And I didn't mind it. But I I didn't like the place at all, really, when I first went there. I thought, well, I'll stick this for a month, I'll do well, I reckon. And about 29 years later, I took redundancy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, brilliant. Uh, yeah. Do you want any more tea? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Sure, yeah. What's the time? <laughs> What's the time? Time. Ten to nine, right? Oh, Should we call it a day now? Eight nine. Hey? Should we call it a day? No, now? we can do a little bit more. We can do, do a little bit more. Have we got enough to be going on with? What I was going to ask you, Arthur, what about your sort of um, shooting and 
fishing and um, oh my God. and ferreting and all that sort of oh life. When did you start? To, did you do any of that when you was a kid? Well, I knew you shot sparrow. Not a, not a, not a child. No. We used to go up with young Tommy and them up Park Gate fishing, fishing, ferreting. Tony Sunday morning. Well, Tony Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Tony Smith. Uh, Brian. Brian used to live up the road. Well, Sanford, yeah. Sanford, yeah. Dickums, Campy. Oh dear. You used to shoot a few sparrows when you was a young and though, didn't you? Sparrows? Yeah. Oh yeah, because it's hundreds of them. I in that place of prize. Mm. We used to get in that barn and there was some holes and that you could shoot them. But there's always loads of sparrows around the bookyard. They all they got all the food and drink of all the day. Didn't have to go anywhere, you know. And Lenny and I hadn't got a, uh, an air gun them days. But Lenny, Lenny Martin, yeah. used to come over there and we used to sit there and keep popping these sparrows off. Oh, <laughs> or whatever more, I don't know. But, but there used to be lots of them about then, do not they? But now that you don't, they are never seen them. Um, cattle. Mm. No farmers, no farmers got cattle spare. now, you see. Yeah. I, I keep saying that sparrows have died out, so they have, but that's only the reason that uh, there isn't a bullet yard around here anywhere that I know of, you know. Mm. Uh, everybody used to have one. Mm. But they used to, I mean, they, they used to see tree sparrows about, because they used to let big tree yeah. sparrows nest over here, but I ain't seen yeah. one of them for years. No. No. They used to nest in them. On the corner that? there, on that, um, what was that? Tree sparrows. Oh, yeah. In these, um, yeah. pine trees on the corner. Yeah. They used to be full of tree sparrows yeah. and this, them old pine trees. Yeah. But the fishing came a bit later. When I first started work at Lucas, I weren't very old, but I was, I, was, uh, I met up with, uh, what was his name then? He died, young fella. Oh, his mother was uh, friendly with Lex. Chirpy. Chirpy Stalin, yeah. Yeah, and uh, You're going he had to suck work there. Yeah. Trouble. And he, he <laughs> said, well, he said, why well, somebody come up fishing on Sunday? Why don't you come? And I never looked back from that day on, you know. I picked him up and off we went. You used to go down to Mersey and dig some worms up on a Saturday and then go fishing on Sunday. I'd always got some cod in the in the freezer. I used to have a nice big freezer, you know, and I'd always got fresh fish in there. We used to go every other week. But some of the old boys about here used to do a bit of fishing, didn't they? They used to be fishing tin meds upon them. Yeah, they? yeah, there was some in there. But I don't know whether there was when we used to play cricket down there. I think Lynn put some, she put some in all of them, mm. I think. Some in the lace pond as well, she put some in there. But yeah, but I think Chris and Lynn did used to fish earlier. Yeah, yeah years, years early, ago. Not, oh, not uh, now before that, I don't know whether there was Chris on that. They used to swim down there, didn't they? Pardon? Used to swim down there, didn't they? Yeah, you used to go in there swimming. Well, Tim met her. Yeah. Come out of there, you got a toy mark right around your face. They got cattle on the floor on the meters, you know. Oh, God. I wonder we never caught something we were getting hold of. Oh, over. Wouldn't be allowed now with your health and safety. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We still swim in the pits down the, the, yeah. the, the yeah. yard. Well, we haven't done lately, but we did when, you know, only ten years ago we'd be yeah. swimming in there. Yeah, we the were. Uh, the pits down at the brickyard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, swimming there. But that was the cattle, mate. It's so filthy. They used to get in there, you know. When that was hot, they stand in it, don't they? Yeah. Water, mm-hmm. and cows, mm-hmm. and bullets. <laughs> well, is there anything else? Because they, they want to know more when you was younger than. Well, that's all right, we don't care what yeah, you know. Well, I weren't yeah. very old then, Joey. Uh, no, Did you older? Uh, any old, can you old. Can you old. Arthur, can you remember any old boys being any good with a catapult when you was a boy? Did you have catapults? You had catapults yeah. and things in them days. Old Jim died. Do you remember? Did you yeah, remember? I remember him. Yeah. He was a rare catapult. Mm-hmm. Man, for rooks up the church. Yeah. Three or four. We all used to go up there. <laughs> oh, Miss Oates used to be after us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, red cat ball. But you never see that now, do you? No, when you don't. You, when well, you play. You see, youngsters never had money to buy a gun or anything. Where do you, they don't remember where they got the elastic from for the catapults, do you? Because you can't get that now, can you? I don't know. I never tried, Chris. I but forget where they? I bought some with. Back then, where do you reckon they got it from in them days then? I'm playing if I know. Whether that was at Webby's. They used to sell guns and. Oh, like one or two guns, not many, a mostly cycle shop. Mm. I don't know. I wouldn't like to say for sure. Because that used to be that old square stuff, didn't it? That's right, yeah. My dad had one, he had one mate out of age. Yeah. I don't think I could never hit much with it, though. I don't think many people could. It was all right if you... Yeah. What you needed was... Nice round ball bearings. Yeah, ball bearings. Yeah. True, like true, is these yeah. Stone stones, all shapes. Yeah, so <laughs> pebbles as well. Like yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. <clears throat> so when did you get your bike? My bike mm. when I was eighteen. Eighteen, oh god. Yeah, I just had to save hard. You save that yourself that. to get it. I forget how much I get for it. That was a randy old bath gear case. I remember that green. Rice and green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I forget how much it was too. I remember it took me a long while to save enough money to buy it. Where'd you buy that from then? Or? Down Suppy somewhere, Chris. I reckon that was Webby's, I don't know. Because that was the only shop, cycle shop in the, in the town. And that was brand new. Yeah. Did any kids have bikes? Any? Any of the kids when you were young? No, not really, I don't think. No. Mm. And we used to... Different sort of... Mm, yeah. Different life, yeah. Mm. When, uh, I don't know how old I was. My father had the first television that was ever in Gastonbourg, I reckon. He had a little auxiliary engine outside. Did he? Yeah. yeah. And the kids used to come, I never even used to go home. I used to come straight down the road, straight in the house, and sit there and watch television, that was tea time. The Catterwells, they both used to come, John and Margaret. Where did they live, Arthur? They lived in the area house, a little further up from oh, us. I? Yeah. I don't remember them, you see all that, don't they? No, I can't remember them. I don't know where they were. They have been down so long as all that. John, I don't remember till they got married. I don't remember him. Johnny Cat will work for Dick's. Is your cinema back there? No, I don't know him. You work up there and that. Work no. in that house next door. Don't know him. Don't. I see those pictures of him. What we had at the thing, <coughs> but I I never knew him. No. It's gone before my time. He he must have moved <laughs> out in the sixties. I don't remember him. Well, he's sir. Uh, How old are you then, Chris? You're forty-eight. Forty-nine. Well, he's 65 or 66 yeah, now he's retired, he retired. He? See, when I was young, they my airy houses. I can remember who lived in them all. Like, there was... Um, Horace. Horace and Ron lived in the first one, didn't they? Yeah. Then Russell Meekins lived in the next one, next to him, didn't he? Did they? Hubert, yeah. Hubert and lived in the next one. Yeah. Then the pra Mrs Pratt lived in the next one, yeah, didn't she? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then uh, Johnny Radley lived in the next one. Yeah. Yeah. In that other one, there were several people come in and out of there, weren't there? I don't know. There were, uh, Mick and Lynn lived in there for a bit, didn't they? Next one at all. Yeah, they did live in there. And then yeah, the, the Claydens lived in the one on the end. Right. And they were the only people I ever knew lived in them. I didn't, so they must have gone before that. Oh. Yeah, because Harry, Harry Cantwell, the father, died. That's probably when they moved, I reckon. They weren't terrible. Well, Margaret and John, I think they both got married from there, didn't they? I don't know. I think so. Did I? Well, that's before my time, did I? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hey, <coughs> used to stay before your time, didn't it? I remember catching lizards down old Subbury Road. Do you remember any of them being there, Arthur? Who? Lizards. We used to catch lizards down Subbury Road. Do you remember it? Was there any lizards about when you was a boy? Don't remember them, Chris. Yeah. Oh, no, no. We used to catch them around Subbury Road because there used to be a lot of stumps of trees in front of them. In front of the bungalows, yeah. there was old stumps of trees there, weren't yeah. there? Yeah. And they used to live in them. We used to catch quite a few out of them. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, no. Mrs. Chatters, 
Oh yeah, lived in the bungalow. She, her grandchildren used to come and see her, and we used to get their name with them. I can't remember what their names were. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we they used to come out. We used to chase them across the road. Couldn't do that now. Could you get run over with it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what I think. When you say you used to you used to go and swim down at the pits, down at the brickyards. Why should be afraid? It might be a snake or something. There is snakes in there. You say? I know mm -hmm. they used to slide over. Mm -hmm. I've seen them swimming on this pond. Yeah. And I know when. Grass snakes. Grass snakes. Grass snakes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.